So I bought this Fender Blues Junior a couple of years ago. The only problem is, it's too fucking loud. So solution number one is this. This is an IKEA picture frame, which I've stuffed with a towel and covered with a shirt to keep everything in place. I put this in front of the speaker cone of the speaker and uh, I mean, it kind of reduced the volume, but I also lost a lot of treble and it wasn't really a perfect solution. Enter the L pad. This is a kind of resistor type thing that goes between the amp and the speaker and it reduces the volume by dissipating some of the power. I got this for about 20 quid on Amazon and it's what I'm going to be making my attenuator out of today. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward build. It basically just involves putting the L pad in the box and wiring it to some jack sockets. It even says on the side of the L pad container how you're meant to wire it up. I've kind of got a problem here in that the L pad's not going to quite fit in the box, but that's going to be all right. Um, probably the main concern I'll have here is heat dissipation because it's going to get quite hot when the amp's running. So I'm going to drill some extra holes in it so it can cool down. I'm going to go ahead and make some marks for those drill holes. You'll see why I'm putting the sockets here a bit later. It just makes the box fit into the amp a bit more snugly. So that's all the hole shield now, and I'll show you what I was talking about with the L-pad earlier. It goes in the box, but it just doesn't quite let me put the lid on the back. There's just a few more gap. There's not much I can do about that, but actually it's not such a problem because uh, I need as much ventilation as I can get for this. And with that all sorted, it's time for the soldering. So I've got the box that the L-pad came in here and it's got this nifty little schematic on the side. I'll uh, try to show it to the camera. Probably can't quite see it there. And before I started soldering the attenuator, I had to do a quick repair on my homemade soldering fan. If you haven't got a soldering fan, I definitely recommend making one for yourself. This one is just an old PC fan and some carbon foam, which is usually used for catalytic boxes. I think the whole thing cost me less than 10 quid. I'll skip over the rest of the soldering because it was all pretty straightforward. And there we have it. I'm quite happy with this. Let me show you how it fits into the amp. So the attenuator goes between the speaker and the output of the amp. And you'll see now why I've decided to put the jack sockets on the bottom of the pedal. There are some Velcro straps which are usually used to hold the power cable in place, but work quite nicely for the attenuator. After a quick test run, I can say I'm quite happy with how quiet this makes the amp. I'll need a little while to decide whether this has completely solved the problem. But in the meantime, thanks for watching.